Hello friends, this is Lilla in Hawaii. It's very, very hot here and I'm sitting in my little studio going to make some velvet flowers. It's one of the cooler places. I've got an overhead fan. We don't have air conditioning here. So I thought I'd show you a couple of flowers that I make and uh, I get a lot of requests for how I do them and where I put them and so you will see on a lot of my uh, products, particularly in my account, my Etsy account, you'll see the flowers popping up here and there. I don't overdo it. Generally, I like to use velvet only because I've got a box of velvet pieces still. And uh, they also look nice made of fabric. And also, it has to be sort of a heavyweight fabric or just plain muslin and they look nice made from felt so I have a, a basket of them here that um, I sprinkled them out before and I showed them and um, I showed them online so I won't tip those out right now but I am going to sell a basket full of flowers so today because it's so hot and I'm sitting here just don't know what to do with myself I thought, why don't I show you a couple of flowers anyway? And I can sit and sort of cool off. So here's a diagram I have. Uh, I don't know if you can see that too well. But this is actually older. I drew this a little while ago. And these are some flowers I gave to students when I taught flower making. And let me just go over what they are. This one is a pansy generally. It comes out looking like a pansy and you just use a square of fabric and uh, I didn't do any instructions but there's just some stitchery marks this one is more of a bigger flower this also could be a pansy or it could be any kind of daffodil or something like that and this one's more of a daisy type then here are a couple of ideas for leaves here so I'll put that aside and I'll show you what I have done the first thing to do when you get velvet or find old velvet that's really nice so these are old pieces of velvet they happen to be silk velvet and they're rather flimsy so what you really should do is iron on some interfacing on the back if I have white interfacing I'll iron that on the back and if I don't have white I'll you know iron whatever interfacing so I happen to have black in this case. I must say it's a little hard to do the outline of the template. Um, let me see. I think I've got to show you what I've got. Okay, so this is the pencil I use. It's a chalk pencil. And I don't know what brand it is. General's Pastel Chalk, it says. And that's what I use for these. And all I do is I take an image like this and I draw around it. Well, my here I am. Draw around it like this with the chalk. And of course, because it's thick, it'll come in a little bit bigger. And you can keep it that way or you can cut it a little narrower. Oh, I must say my <laughs> technique is absolutely primitive, but the finished product is really nice. Okay, so I've done that, so I'm just going to put that away. And I'm going to show you, uh, let's see, I already looked at this one, and this to me looks like nice pansy colors. So I think what I'll do is I will... I've drawn around it already so what I'm going to do I've done the template so what I'm going to do is just this and I just drew these shapes they're just most of them are five petal flowers I've got a few that are six petal don't think I've got any that are bigger than that but I keep a a little packet of templates which I've had for years because I've made them years ago 
And then I add to them if I think of something. So I'll show you. This is my little bag of templates. So these should go in here. These are the ones I've already used. Okay, put that over here. Okay, so this is what I've just cut out. It's that nice sort of burgundy, um, winey red color. It's lovely. And as you can see, it's a very amoebic sort of shape. And you think, oh my, that doesn't look like that'll be a flower. But you'd be surprised. The other thing I cut out while I was fiddling around was I found a little piece of green velvet in my stash. So I cut out some little shapes like this, which I'm going to make into leaves. I already made one into a leaf here. I made one into a leaf here. And earlier I started making this one, this velvet flower, which comes from this. And then I made this one, which comes from, well, it's not this felt, but it comes from that template there. So I'm just going to pause this, and I want to just check that everything's okay, then I'll... So I'm going to, I wanted some something of this bluey sort of, it's actually a paisley. And it is silk velvet. Someone gave it to me, I think. It's very old. So, so the next thing to do is just cut out the shape. Well, let's see where it goes. If you look at the diagram that I showed earlier, there's a circle in the center of these. I don't always do it that way. Um, I had a bunch of students that it seemed to work better for. But basically, I don't care for that circle in the center and pull it up like that because then when you come to bead the center, you've got a little sort of a hump, if that makes sense. Okay, so then that's that one. That's the blue. And later on, I can come and sort of fix the sort of make these look a little better there. A little bit too pointy, aren't they? Uh, t -t let me see if it, do I like that? Okay. So I've done that, done that. No, I've got already gone ahead and I've threaded up some needles with thread so I don't have to take time to do that. Very easy. Take some thread, double it, and in this case I did, uh, let's see, I did it from the back to the front. It looks different if you do it from the front to the back. Here's one where I did the circle treatment the circle that I showed you earlier. I'm not so crazy about that. It does put a lump in the middle. So I'm not going to do that today. Okay, so I'm just going to show you so you can see. Okay, so here's a five petal flower from that template. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push that through from there. There's a little bit of too much of a knot. Okay. So I went from the back. Now I'm going to come from the back between those grooves, the dips. You might call them valleys if you look at it that way. Valleys. So that's one valley, and there should be five of these. So that's one. And I'm going to pull that. I'm coming from the back. I'm going through the next valley. If you don't pull too fast, it doesn't knot so much. And actually, if you can get, which I usually do have, 
time some wax it's good okay so that's the second one next valley see how it's starting to form and if you don't like the shapes of the petals you can always go and trim off a little bit it's only fabric you know you can cut it how you like okay so this is the fourth one so I have one more see uh, it's getting there from the back you can either bring it from the back to the front gives a different look this time I'm bringing it from the back to the front Okay, see how it looks now? I'm making bread, by the way, so I have to leave soon and go and check it. I'm making that bread that's no need, and you cook it in a Dutch oven, and it puffs up like a big French loaf, just gorgeous. I'm making one for a friend. Okay, so here we go go okay so now fasten it off on the back and it looks like a little just like nothing however when you open it again there it is there's my little now th I know that the beads won't go, this needle's a little big, so the beads will not go through here. I do have one threaded with a finer thread, and I'll show you how that would look. Uh, where did I put it? This one. I know that the beads will go through this one, the eye of this one. So I'm going to come through from here at the back, and usually what I do is I put two or three, de depending on the size of the flower, I'll put two or three lots of beads. Okay, let me see. I have um, I picked out an assortment of, of purples and things and I have no idea if they're going to fit, but let's try them. And I just sprinkled just a very few on this mat. Okay. The shades of purple and mauve. And I know that it, the needle could go through the other beads I had. Okay, so I'm picking up two... I've picked up three beads. And I've got this. If this is on the front... I'm going to go through there. Okay, so there's three. I'll do another three. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Let's see, there we go. And there you go, that's it. Okay, so on the back I'm just going to fasten that. There are a few other things I can do to this shape. That if I want to, I can blast it with a heat gun. Um, if I did that, I would do that before I beaded the center. And generally, I don't really find that's necessary. However, sometimes I will dampen them with a little alcohol bottle that I have to spray alcohol. It's alcohol and lavender water. And I keep that. Okay. Here it is. This is what I use. So I use this a lot. Now, if I wanted to make this just a little, you know, sort of shape it, maybe a little or do something... 
I give it a little bit of a spritz with that. Oh, and it smells good too. And then I can sort of, you know, just... Okay, so there we go. Can you see that? Okay, so that's done. This is done. This one, I haven't beaded the center yet, so let me do that while I'm waiting. Oh, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Waiting for the bread to rise. This, this is thicker, this. It's a lot thicker to me. Okay, what color? I think I will go with... See if I can go with this color. Which is sort of a goldy... Goldy beige or something. Okay, do I want to put too many beads out because then they'll last forever. They usually roll onto the floor. I learned my lesson. I do not do beading in my living room. I only do it in my studio. Because if they fall on the floor and you can step on them, it hurts. Okay, so I've got three here. Got three beads here. And I've got... This is okay, so there's three. Sometimes they'll twist and do funky things, and that's okay. They'll make a lump, or they won't lie flat. It's okay. It's only only the bit of center of the flower. One, two. So that's two, three. So I've got three more. So that's three are loaded on. Another three, so that's six. And I find that that's usually enough. Look how pretty that looks. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Okay, so now I'm turning to the back. I'm just going to fasten that off. Over the next few days, I will show you other flowers I make. Um, this is just the beginning session here. Okay, so I've got that done. Put this here, straighten it out a bit, give it a little spritz. I always spritz myself too. Okay, so a little spritz like that just to give it a little bit of. Sh okay, there it is. So that's that one. So this one, this one we just did. And I've got a couple of these and I'll just show you. Well, not that one. These two I just cut. I just had a tiny little remnant of velvet. Oh, here's some beads too. I don't want them. I don't ever want to lose the beads. Okay, I'm going to put these in here. like gold. These seed beads are like gold. Okay, there we go. Now one of the things I like to do when it's a, a leaf like this is I like to put little veins on the sides and I like to go one, two, three, turn it over and go one, two, three, and then I'm going to cut little Widgets, whatever, divots, I guess you'd call them. I don't know what you call them. Widgets, divots, whatever they are. Little, little pukas. Here in the islands we call them pukas. Little, little holes. Uh, pukas. Okay, here, so this is, there's one leaf shaped like that. And next I take one of my, um, these are called liquid pearl, and I particularly like, I 
think I like this. Which colour do I like? Well, it doesn't really matter. I had to buy an assortment. It comes with five or six colours. You don't have a choice. It just comes that way. Okay, so here, this, so here's one leaf. And what I would do with this is just do a little... Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh my goodness. Let's see if that works. Okay. So just that actually doesn't need any more than sort of like that there. This one, this one I'll just, I'll go down here like this, and I'll do more like this, to like that, uh, or just more like that. This is the one where I cut the little divots on the sides, I think that's what you call it. So in this case, I'm just going to do a line right down the middle. Actually, glitter glue would be good too. Okay. And just set those aside to dry. So, this would be sort of like a little arrangement. Let me show you. That one, maybe. And... Those two together. Actually, those. Yeah, those look okay with that. And that would look pretty with that. This is an extra one. Oh, I could do that. So that's all for now. Thank you. And I will come by again and I'll show you some other flowers.